Well, I have a guy that we can talk to about that. To present this year's Virtuoso Awards to Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson, please help me welcome someone who earned three Academy Award nominations this year for producing, writing, and directing The Banshees of Inish Aaron. Please welcome Martin McDonough. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello, boys. Um, OK, here we go. Uh, the first time I met Colin Farrell was in a pub in London in the early 2000s. Um, it's possible that there was booze involved, because I can't remember a single thing about it. But I came away with a very vague sense of him being a wonderful, wonderful human being. Uh, there was a more risque version of this opening paragraph, but Colin wouldn't let me say it. <laughs> Moving on. The first time I met Brendan Gleeson was in a, a theatre in Galway after an all-day showing of three of my early Irish plays. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, eight and a half hours of theatre, and he stayed all the way to the end, and he didn't even seem pissed off about it. And I remember thinking again, what a wonderful, wonderful human being. Oh boy, has a lot happened since those days. Brenda and I did a short film together after that, and he guided me through it with gentleness and intelligence, and he taught me my first lesson in working with producers. You never, ever have to listen to a single thing they say. <laughs> and though, there goes our chances at the Producers Guild Awards next week. <laughs> after that, we all made in Bruges together. Uh, I insisted on three weeks of rehearsals, mostly because I thought it would make me sound like a film director. And it worked. They were tricked. Um, and during those three weeks of chats and debate in that beautiful medieval town, uh, we all fell hopelessly in love with each other. Uh, somehow, that film turned out really well. And somehow, despite the best efforts of the production company, we all got nominated for some awards at the end of the year. Colin won a Golden Globe. Me and Brendan won jack shit. But, <laughs> but we didn't mind, because we all love each other. And even if the same thing happens this season, we still won't mind. Although maybe just a little bit more than last time. Uh, after In Bruges, me and Colin made a film called Seven Psychopaths, which I can't remember a single thing about. But I guess you thank you. Oh, they like it. Um, and after that, and this brings us almost up to date, uh, I wrote a film called The Banshees of Inisherin, and I sent it to Colin and Brendan. Colin loved it. Brendan thought it was one of the worst things he's ever read. <laughs> and surprisingly, Brendan was right. So I threw that script away and went off to make free billboards instead. Thank you. <laughs> then, uh, then three years ago, I thought, I'm all out of good scripts. What am I going to do? So I reread that old shit script, and guess what? Yes, it was still shit, but just after that, somebody broke up with me and I was really sad. And like any good writer, I thought, hang on a second, there could be money in this. <laughs> so I quickly rewrote it and sent it to the boys, and here we are today in Santa Barbara. <laughs> Colin and Brendan. No other actors in the world could have played the roles of Porrick and Colin because no one in the world has the integrity, the sensitivity, and the gentleness to show the fragility and the quiet despair of those men, perhaps of men in general, and to do it without judgment, without comment, instead leaving it for an audience to decide, to decide who's right or wrong, if either of them are, and to do all of that while still being totally feckin' hilarious. Uh, this is the most fun I've ever had on a film, and it was the most fun because you're the most fun, the most kind, the most talented, most supportive, and the wittiest men I've had the good fortune to come across. Oh, <laughs> It's true. Uh, so thanks for the fun, thanks for the love, and uh, thanks for making my time in film impossibly special. We're in this together for good. Uh, if only I would get off my ass and write stuff more often. <laughs> but that just isn't going to happen. <laughs> and so, without further ado, it's my total privilege to get you off your asses and over here to prevent you with the Cinema Vanguard Award. <laughs> Thank you.
Um, this is kind of beautiful. We'll just like to thank um, Santa Barbara International Film Festival, obviously for um, an unforgettable night. Um, it's very, it's kind of thrilling. I was going to say it's humbling, and it is kind of, but it's also thrilling um, when a, a creative life just all comes together. And working with Martin has been one of the great gifts and privileges of my life. Um, being part of this film with Colin, whom we do actually kind of love each other, all three of us, and uh, it, it, it makes things so much easier. Um, and just given that this is a kind of a retrospective thing, um, I'd like to just on a personal level uh, thank somebody else whom I love, who is my wife Mary, who's with me today. And um, all of this, all of this has been facilitated by um, just the pure integrity and beauty of her personality, and her support for me has been uh, unstinting. So I'd like to thank her and dedicate this to her. Um, the Thank You Santa Barbara Film Festival for this, and as Brennan said, for the extraordinary evening. Um, it is humbling and it's also thrilling. Thanks, Martin, for the kind words. And how much I owe you now for those kind words. There's at least seven nice things you said about me. That's $20 times seven. <laughs> um, uh, we, we do, as Brennan said, I, I love, but there's a thing that John uh, O'Donoghue, who's no longer with us, the Irish scholar and poet, uh, spoke about, and it's an Anam Cara, and it's uh, heart friend is the literal translation, but it's, it's about the idea of not just one soulmate, but the people that you leave, meet in your life that are your soulmates. And there's a little bit of that here because it's not, our friendship and our love is not conditional. I couldn't explain what it is that makes Brendan make such sense to me or Martin make such sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, and, if I, and if I could explain it, I can say what I love about them, but I couldn't explain why they make such sense to me because if I could, then there'd be conditions on it or something. There'd be a need or there'd be something being served. And yes, the heart gets served in friendship at all times, but the idea of an Anam Car is that it, it defies any quantification. I just, I just love the two of them very much. And I'm so grateful for them being in my life. I'd also, like to take, thank you. I'd also like to take the opportunity to uh, thank my sister Claudine Farrell, who's here tonight. And <laughs> Claudine, Claudine Farrell has worked with me so closely for 25 years and she has seen me through more ups and downs. She has demonstrated such care and such selflessness um, in, in moments where to care for me involves some very heavy lifting. And She's been an incredible support to me, but more than that, she's an extraordinary intellect. We have a little production company. She does all the heavy lifting there as well. She is an amazing human being and her decency um, and the beauty of her spirit is something that I continually aspire to. And so, where are you? There you are. How are you, sister? You all right? <laughs> hey, Claude. So I'd just like to thank you for all your help through the years, love. And again, Santa Barbara, thanks a million for this. It's really very special. Thank you so much. Thank you all for being here. Have a wonderful night and congratulations again to our special guests. Good night everybody, see you next time. <laughs>